Oh, I should probably... Guys, we're on the... Oh. I don't even... Shepard doesn't even have an Omni tool. So... In the right... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's, let's do this. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. We're in space. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. You got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Why are you outside the Mako? It's like they drop the Mako, but then you're standing outside of it for no reason. Like you had to get out specifically to use the radio. Oh, my bad. Alien crab thing. crab things are like I guess they are they kind of look like uh, fire alerts or something Blood crabs
side is the doorway. Oh, you don't have to actually go up on this one. Okay. Pretty left because I have it for like five minutes. If I went right, I would have avoided his analysis. This is outside. Oh, okay, there's my shit. I'm just heading in the hand, I guess. have any any Gev Colossi in them, do they? I don't remember any. Oh, shit. There's our target. Sides. 
you need to stop that. You can stop right now. I don't know why you're getting your shield back, but no. Full of dudes here. Like two juggernauts or something. down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue. On your mark, Commander Shepard. F sync. Yeah, let's turn all 80,000 of these items into a metagel. Omnigel. <sighs> it's not a total waste. Are you, like, you literally expect me to- are you fucking kidding me? Unbelievable. As I said, the inventory system in this game is god-awful. Just threw out so many- here we go. this over with. Did I not? <laughs> okay. I think maybe one of the gates was open. It, it does this every time you play the game. Um, I'm 100% positive this is a glitch. Like, the gates lift up after you you run up the stairs, and then, so you go use the control panel, and then it turns out that the gate was actually open, so you closed it. Because they definitely aren't open when you get there. Otherwise, you would just drive straight through, obviously, right? Or maybe they... Uh, no, I mean, even that doesn't make sense. I was going to say, maybe they get to lower the... Or raise the gates, but no. Like, this is clearly not what happens.
We should be free to make our way to the camp. These things have a metagel dispenser. That there was more to Commander, it. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Or you could ever go back there. I guess the, um... I mean, it kind of makes sense later on here in a minute. In an hour or so. There go the Solarians. When the plot happens. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? It's weird You're that Solarians would... I told the council to send a fleet. Measure things in miles. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. It's quite a character shift for Rex. I mean, it's not like it's unrealistic, but... He spends the entire game acting like he doesn't care about saving the uh, Krogan, and then once he stumbles upon a possible cure, he's like, oh shit, 180... I'm willing to kill all these people to to get my way. What was that 10 that I picked up? I guess the I upcoming talk battle to frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. The Krogan seems to be I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. 
Oh, he's the one shooting. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. The if we fail, no one will hear of this. If we succeed, same result. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be. We better succeed, human. We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. The one time I've ever gotten the thing to move on top. It was a total accident. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools from the Council once. They us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. We won't be able to meet their force head on. Definitely not, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. I'm not sure... So, are you, like, I'm intending on killing Caden, so I don't know if this part matters. Okay, so it apparently doesn't matter. Williams! You'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. 
Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I want to know more about the bond. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will disable the AA gun so the no Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Let's do Excellent. This. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be Bet, ready. Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Time to get some attention. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize it. I guess I, I didn't really think. I forgot that. That was my insanity. This may take forever, and as you can see, well, you can't because I'm going to edit the screen out, but it's, it's almost 9 o'clock, so... I just don't want to get one hit by the sniper.
like there's something else here. Maybe it's the next one. Can't go under this thing, right? Maybe you can. Something scrambled. They're targeting. No we got a way. shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. What was here that I messed up? Nothing. something here. It's not. got stuck in the wall. They're calling sat strikes. Jayetto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Agor, 
like how this dude is literally immune to uh, lift. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be it'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle it. Okay. So that means we're gonna get butt rushed by Sorry, he had to kill a bunch of your dudes. I just gotta check this back corner of the room. I'm never sure. Someone out there?
What do you want? I, who are you? Alliance, right? I Slow so. down. I need to know where you Private came. Private Menosavata of the Third Infiltrate. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you? I'll be your you? back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here. And Something's work. not right here, Shepard. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very. I need to get Set out. Set him free. Yes, I should be. I hear them over and over. I'm simple. This way. I'm gonna like, go back this way. the elevator? Well, you're not a gaff. Lieutenant Ganto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in... Transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's... I see. Then you must be the infiltrator. He knew about the breeding grounds, but the indoctrination is a greater. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiment. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. Don't look back. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started.
or kill that enemy, whatever it is. Just kill the living bejesus out of it. Krogan, Krogan using biotics. It's unnatural. making that sound. <laughs> Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain. She has too. the same patches as as exogeny scientists. Give me one reason I should help you. I, I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See, full access, all of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh! <laughs> you enjoyed that. Shoot around since full mechanics. Still need to get into that one door. Commander, look over here. It's Very another beacon. beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime.
I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! I never really noticed it, but like I didn't realize how much of the, the Leviathan DLC ties directly into this conversation, which is the first time that they tell you about this. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. The, uh, the sheer, um, pretentiousness of the, of the Reapers is hilarious. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. That would be funny if one of the responses was just, just like, nah. -uh. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? It was a fallout game. We are Legion. The it time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. So even even the We Are Legion quote is in the first game. You're not even alive. Not really. And, and, You're just a machine. I mean, and from machines the game, can not. be broken. Your words yeah, are as empty as from. your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. 
I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders command. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set them. So now I'm gonna have to shoot a bunch of dudes. <laughs> really, the name of this game. So, that, so now I'm gonna have to shoot a bunch of dudes. One. Followed by its sequel. So now I'm gonna have to shoot a bunch of dudes too. the sequel so now i'm gonna have to shoot a whole lot of dudes the guests are turning shepherd must be getting close jansen circle around keep them here keep them behind this gun, it's ridiculous. Putting this into multiple parts, but pretty sure it's just gonna force me into the next part. Heatsink capacity is just too good on that, um, on the circle of. I guess the the Spectre guns probably weren't intended to be like the best guns. They were probably just supposed to be a, a boost. Not that you can afford them at the beginning of the game. That could put some nasty holes in the Normandy. Oh shit. What? <laughs> what? Why is he still alive? You should have... Is 
to die yet. Dude! Krogan or something, we're gonna spawn up here. Is he gonna take all his all my gear with him when he dies? There's the gun. Clear those gaps and get the charges set. This is gonna go straight into. I mean, I should have. All right, nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can.
Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy oh. casualties. Captain Kirahi is what? dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming Negative. to get you. Just make sure. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Oh, I guess my my best uh, biotic, dude. I've never actually saved her before, so I don't know how this works. I assume you just stay here when she tells you to go. the Geth have sent reinforcements. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them There's off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive. I'm activating the bomb. Alenka, what are you sure doing? making sure this bomb... It's done, Commander. Go get... Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get... Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. 
Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. <laughs> I <laughs> literally understand. had to make a choice. I don't regret it. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Still gonna make me Omni Jellies. Yep. Fourteen items. half of these things anyway, so I mean, I just don't like being forced to choose which ones to get rid of. been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? They Would the do. Protheans still, still exist? exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. 
Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. If the Leviathans no, Sovereign needs built me. the mass relays if I find the conduit, and the I've Reapers a reprieve from the inevitable. or what happens to the Le Leviathans, wouldn't the Reapers home. know where the Moo Relay is? Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. Why are the Geth following? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the react... Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. Stop talking and fight. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. No. But you would undo my work. that I wanted for this fight. I don't know why I didn't consider that. Ooh, everyone's dead and I'm stuck here in the corner. This will absolutely go well. Oh, now I have to sit through the second cooldown for my unity. Because <laughs> one cooldown wasn't enough. I guess the first one was probably sabotage or, or whatever, damping. attempt to see even rescue him. Like... All right, everybody, hang <laughs> on! <sighs> At least this way I don't have to listen to Caden fucking cry all trilogy about 
how you saved his life. I I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found Is your idea to embrace on eternity on. again for the it third or fourth time? It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. <laughs> I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! This Ivos? Is that why it keeps showing up? Incredible. I I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Did Mew I mention Relay Ilos? is inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. A sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Oh, understood, like Commander. <laughs> okay. Um... I think there's one more round of side quests, and then that's the end of the game, so I'll do that later. Alrighty, peace everybody.